going that way. <clears throat> Just wanted to give everybody a before and after picture. Uh, the river is out there, so I'm back from the river because if anyone comes by or goes down it on a boat or whatever, I don't want them to see me. So I'm in here. It's an old grove forest. Here's my tripod. Here's my coat. Here's my bag. It's an old growth forest. Everything, like the trees are minimum, I mean at most six feet apart. So it's everywhere. This is the biggest open spot I could actually find. There's probably about 10 feet between that tree and that tree. And probably about 10 feet between this tree and this tree. So just take a look at all this here. Because the next time you see it, it's all going to be gone. The branches, I mean, the branches are all dead. See, all these branches are dead. So the bottom ones don't survive, so I'm going to clip them all off and I'll have a fairly big open area around here when it's done. So yeah. So, same area, relatively clear now. Got all those branches off there, there, all there, all there, all there, and all there. Which gives me a much more, let me see if I can get a wide angle shot of this. Gives me a much better area to actually camp in. See, so you can see it all there now. Kind of like from, right, from like that tree to that tree and around. I'd say I have about, yeah, it's actually probably more like 15 feet across each way, which is pretty cool. The tent's going here on the flattest part. The part that just dug up and pulled all the, uh, you know, tinder stuff out. That's where the fire is going to be because I had to dig that out. Um, dug it out with my axe actually, but no need to worry because there's just no rocks in here. Basically, <laughs> the floor is about one foot of pine needles everywhere, so you can dig right into it. There's no problem. You can just like, you know, go right in. If there's no stones because all you're actually digging up is are layers and layers of pine needles first of all, and then the dirt. So yeah, fire is going to be down there, right there. And yeah, the tent is going to be hither. I'm going to put a, a hitch, a line between this tree and that tree. And then the tent is going to be in the middle here. And you shall see that right now. Oh, wait, I'm, gonna ring the I'm the worst videographer in the world. Why am I so bad at this? Oh, it's against that one. I'm just going to get both trees in there. Tree and that tree, and voila, <laughs> there it is. It's all set up. Um, it's not the tightest I can get it because of the the tent. It's actually even when I stretch it out, it's too close to the bottom of the trees, like the kind of where the roots begin. But it's working. I did a you know a hitch between that tree. I don't know if you could see it on the camera. The lighting here is very bad. My apologies. But it's going that way. And then I'll stretch them with these air vents open. Not that I need them because I've got plenty of vents. I always, I never pin my tent right down. I always have a good gap, you know, a good gap down the bottom, like an all the way around. And that way you never get the condensation. A bit of cold air will come in. But obviously, as a man once said, cold draft is better than uh, cold condensation. Okay, one sec. Yeah, a little mini tripod there, made a cup of tea. You see the steam? I don't know if you can see the steam, but it is steaming. Um, yeah, so I made a cup of tea. More. Um, and I forgot to film it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my little tripod. <laughs> and the methylated spirits is down there. I don't know if you can see that underneath there. There's the methylated spirits there in that bottle. Um, Hello. Eating a Torito wrap. 
drink a cup of tea. Made a cup of tea on my on tripod here at my kettle. And um, the tuna can, the patented wonderful tuna can underneath to give me flame. That's the methylated spirits. So, you know, when you make a cup of tea in the forest, you might as well show it to people because it's such an amazing accomplishment and all that. Yeah, cup of tea. Oh. So good. And three to one. Yeah, cool. Um, nice day, actually, for what it is. It's not like um, it rained earlier. Everything's a little bit wet, but not much. And it hasn't rained since. And it's been pretty good so far. Uh, what time is it? I'm in, by the way, I'm in... Locker Trim Forest, which is a virgin forest, an untouched forest, hence the reason we need to close together. It is 25 past 2, so I've been here for two and a half hours. Yeah, got here about 12 o'clock, well, half 12, about two hours. I'm all set up. I was going to make a fire to make a cup of soup thing, like a cup of, cup of noodles thing. I'm not going to do it now. Um, I think I'll just uh, have this, probably have, the, have, have fish with me as well that's already cooked. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind eating fish cold, so I might just eat it the way it is. Um, yeah, that's it. And if I want, I might do the cup of soup tomorrow, maybe for breakfast. I have two of them there. Um, and I also have a banana. Because <laughs> I always bring a banana. Um, yeah, that, that's going to be breakfast, so I'm not going to be big eating tonight. It's going to get dark in two and a half hours. It'll be dark by five o'clock. So, yeah, I'm just um, chilling out at the moment, eating. Um, yeah, two and a half, in, in about, at about three o'clock in about half an hour's time. I'm gonna rest, sit in my seat, rest, and in about half an hour's time, I'll start going on firewood. Should I take me about an hour? Because it's just everywhere. I just think about a virgin forest as well, you know. You see me on other videos going, oh my god, look at how much firewood there is around, you know. But those are whatever they're called, normal forests. They have trails, they have trail heads and trails and so on. A virgin forest is untouched, there's no way to walk through it. You have to bust your way through, like, you know. That's why I had to chop all these branches down to clear everything out, so I had some sort of area to actually camp in. But what that means is all the trees, a virgin forest, or it's called a virgin forest, or sometimes an old growth forest. Old growth forest. Um, what it means is people don't come in here. Uh, there's very few animals as well. I've never heard. I was camped in here uh, 31 months ago. I had to work that out. <laughs> it was 31 months ago this month, and it was the hottest day of the year. It's, I have the video up online. It's a 15 minute long video. It's where it says "big ouch" in the forest. It's where I, where I nearly hacked off my finger with my with my new knife. It's an old knife now, but it was new at the time. And yes, I camped here before, I didn't hear a single animal, didn't see a single person. Again, like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Locker Trim is 11 kilometers outside Mullingar, so I'm in Westmead. I'm in the Irish Midlands, like there's lakes everywhere, there's rivers everywhere. <laughs> it's like, the river is right here, it's, it's about 100 feet away from me through the forest. Um, what was the point of that? I can't remember. Yeah, firewood. Yeah, so virgin forest is like, the branches are just growing on the bottom of trees and they're all dead. You just snap them off and there's, it's just everywhere. You don't even have to cut firewood. You don't need an axe. You don't need a saw. You don't need anything. It's just the firewood is everywhere. That's all. And obviously, if it's wet, you just take the ones like if the, the ones on the ground. If they're wet, just take the ones that haven't fallen down yet. They just break right off the bottom of the tree. So that's the best thing about the likes of this old growth uh, virgin forest. You can you're, you're never stuck with firewood. It's, it's always readily available. So yeah, I'll uh, check back in if anything happens, which I hope it doesn't, because <laughs> I just want to relax for a while, and then I'll be collecting firewood and. Yeah, I'm got, I might, um, if I can, I might make a, a fire reflector later. I've always said I wanted to do and I never did. So I might make a fire reflector, but I don't actually need it because there's no wind and there's no rain. It's it's just so calm out here. It's very dark. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's, it's very dark in here. The camera kind of boosts the light so you can see better. But it's, it is, um, you know, quite dark in here. Um, what's the point of that? I can't get stuff all over me. I love my hands. Um, yep. So check back in in a few. Mm. Tripod. <laughs> I might make a bigger tripod to for over the fire maybe actually. There's a there's something to do. That could be cool. Alright, see you later. Um I promise by the way, see that there? See that there? It's a little baggy full of white stuff. It's a little baggy full of white stuff. And that little baggy full of white stuff is sugar, okay? <laughs> it is. What I'll show you, see, it's sugar. I'm not being funny. I swear to God, that sugar. I wouldn't have shown it to you otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Check back in a while.
My campsite. Pretty cool. Um, I just found a downed birch tree, which is absolute pay dirt. I cut a few pieces off already, check this out. People who are regular campers will notice immediately. People who are not, well, this is what you're looking for. You see that? That's all resin. This thing is packed with resin. They're gonna burn so well and so long. It's a proper, proper fire. I mean, it should be amazing. Like I'm always saying this, but man, it's such a great find. It was already down, it's dead. You can see the bottom of it was all punk. But it was off the ground. You can see the colour of it, see? See how dark it is? So that's it there. I've lined up against this tree. You see the bottom of it is all punk. Apologies for the dodgy camera. Yeah. The bottom of it is all punky. Fell down over here, but the rest of it is solid because it was off the ground. So I'm putting it at the moment. It's, a, it's an incredible find. I'm very very happy about it. Mm -hmm. Let's go that way and then that way. Sorry for the dodgy camera work. <laughs> Clip shot of this now. This is the thicker part of it. It's getting punkier and worse as, as I go down, but it's still an amazing find. And by the looks of it, there's actually another one over there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it there. Straight through this gap right there. There's another one down, and I'm gonna harvest that too. So, should be having a really great fire tonight. Hopefully. Uh, delighted with this. Um, got a lot of firewood there, the resin is stuff there. I uh, couldn't find any more. Sorry, I'm so tired. Couldn't find any more downed trees that were good enough. Found a few. Walked around for about half an hour. Found a few. Um, but they were too punky. And then I found a dead stand. You know, there it is. So I chopped it down. Didn't film me chopping it down, but I chopped it down. And there it is. Kind of all the way up. It's pretty good. It's completely dead. Uh, it's not how you know it doesn't flower. See the rest of them are flowering at the top. And you'll see one going straight up and it, and it isn't flowering at all, so that's dead. What happens is the other trees choke it. They choke it of water and light, and they're never ever as tall. The dead trees are always surrounded by trees that are much taller. So, And the, the big giveaway is they don't flower, <laughs> you know. Like this time of year, I mean, when you'll see that it still has buds on it and these don't, so it's dead. So yeah, I'm delighted with that. It took me a couple of minutes to get that down there, but I managed to do it. And happy with it. Look at that, isn't that an interesting um, profile shot? Wait a minute. Cool. Better angle. It's not bad, I might take that as a picture or something. So yeah, I'm going to chop this up now and then I'm done. I'll have all the firewood I need, which is great. And of course, if the night goes later than I think it will, I think I'll be in bed by it's gonna get dark at five o'clock. Turn that around, it's always nice for you to see a person. Yep, there I am. It's gonna get dark at five o'clock. Um, I'm thinking five hour fire. Five hour fire, which puts me in bed at 10. If I wanna push that for an hour or two, which I could, there's just so much around, like, and you know, the, the smaller stuff and the stuff you can break off the bottom of trees to throw on, that will keep a small fire going. It won't be a big fire after that. After all this uh, hardwood burns or whatever, but um, God, I'm so out of breath. I gotta get back in shape. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking a five hour fire anyway. Once I chop this thing up, and yeah, should be grand. Alright, see you soon. 
Well, just thought of my film. This is the tree I'm skinning. Uh, show some footage of me actually skinning these trees. That's the parts that came off it already. Because um, I never do that, actually. So all I'm doing is... You know, a lot of camping videos that I'm... Sorry, the tripod's very low. Uh, what a lot of people do is, like, the branches are growing that way. If you get me, they're growing that way up the tree. They always do. I find if you go... If the branches are dead and you go against them, they break right off. But if they're tough, go with it. Go with the grain of it. And that takes it right away off. Um, hold on a sec. I need to extend this tripod. My apologies. I'm so unprepared. This is... Probably the kind of stuff that you shouldn't be filming because it wastes battery and memory. But um, I can edit it out. That's better. That's higher. Here we go. Flip out the screen. Can you see me? You can see me. Can you see that thing? Yeah. Hey, this is almost done, by the way. I'm practically finished. But yeah, like if you have a branch that's going, it's small like that, you can just like take it right off. Watch your eyes. I should be wearing my safety goggles, but I didn't bring them. Um, yeah, and like if it's the ones that are up higher are always stronger, so you just go against them to take them off. You actually slice right into it like that and take the. And you can see the white patch that just appeared. You actually take the thing right out of it like that. You skin right across it like that way. All right, these are, these are tougher. Right? And it will take it right off. I'm just about finished. I've actually skinned it all the way down, so I'm not even showing. It's not even on camera. Um, yeah. So I skinned it all the way down so far. All these bits that are around me here, they're all what came off it. This makes it easier to manage and cut. I'll use these as well. The bits that came off, they're dry and, and good to go. So I'll be using them too to, uh, for the fire. Look at that. Off you go. Yep. See how dead it is? They should be stronger than that. This thing's been, it's been dead for a while. Yep. So that's how it's done. <laughs> Sorry for the <laughs> really bad footage because I'm a terrible videographer. I just get tired. I'm disinterested, but yeah, that's how it's done. Oh. Triffle over. Leg fell off. Oh, yeah. I'm packing up now. Packing up. I'm going home. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. It's freezing. I don't know what temperature it is, but it's really, really cold. I'm going home now. So, say bye bye to the forest. Bye, forest. I'll do a 360. Show you exactly where I am. And that's it, basically. Isn't that cool? Not really. I'm so cold. Yeah. So. <clears throat> thanks for watching if you're watching and I shall catch you on the next one Bye.